Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is uh, Reed at Tolmosel Farm. This video is about rainwater collection. So this is a Quonset hut building that is 40 feet wide by 80 feet long and it's right beside our seedling production greenhouse and uh, we have very saline well water. So we're catching rainwater off of one half of the Quonset hut with this gutter just simply anchored into the side of the Quonset with concrete anchors. I think we initially did it with uh, lead slugs and ultimately had to replace them with the expansion bolt type of concrete anchors, but now it, it holds pretty well and whenever it rains, the Quonset structure drips into the trough and then the first step here at the outlet, it goes down and there's a T facing downwards in the ABS. Uh, I think it's four inch ABS, looks like three or four, three apparently. And that T goes into a, a dead end shunt pipe, which runs down and down and down in this little trench, always graded. And then here's the outlet of that little shunt and you probably can't see but down here there is a tiny hole drilled in it and that allows this what's called a roof washer or a first flush diverter it fills up with the first dirty pollen and dust filled first flush of water that lands on the roof comes down, down the trough, through the T, flows down into the shunt pipe, fills the first flush diverter, and then thereafter, the water can continue on into the sump for transfer, but that first dirty flow of water goes into the first flush diverter, and then in between rainfall events, it trickles out through the tiny hole in it. So once the diverter is full, water flows over here into a sump, a nylon stocking as a basic filter for particulate, and then ordinary cheap sump pump. Uh, there's also a stock water heater in there, stock tank water heater, that we use in the early spring to thaw out the block of ice that forms in here in the winter so that we can start running the rainwater collection system earlier rather than having to wait until the uh, ice thaws naturally. So then the sump pump runs up through the blue pipe and the blue pipe is attached to the filler with a cam coupler. This one here is overflow should we ever get more than, I don't know, 2100 gallons. So this is a uh, 9,000 liter opaque reservoir, which is about 3,000 gallons. And uh, for every rainfall event here, based on the roof surface area, if we get a millimeter of rain, we get 100 liters of water. Uh, for uh, 10 millimeters of rain, we get 1,000 liters of water. So 10 millimeters of rain is like uh, half an inch, not quite. It's probably three quarters of an inch of Rain is, uh, da, da, da. no, it's like 7 sixteenths of an inch of rain, so you'd have to do 2.5 millimeters of water would be an inch. For an inch of rain, we get 2,500 liters of water, which is about, I don't know, 2,500 liters is, uh, I can't figure what that is in gallons. But you can see care of this morning's condensation <clears throat> that, um, there's currently between, there's about 500 gallons of water sitting in the rainwater tank. And the ball valve through the outlet is open. And this hose runs over here and into the greenhouse. And the greenhouse comes in through the wall. And it's one of the two possible sources for this jet pump 
which is our boost pump to pr provide pressure here in the greenhouse for watering all of our greenhouse stuff. So inside the greenhouse the installation looks like this. There is a, an indoor reservoir here, a thousand liter cube, and then there's a, <coughs> there's a connection between the cube and the inbound rainwater and the jet pump so that you can choose which one you're using. In the really early spring we uh, start by filling the uh, cube and using that until the weather's warm enough to let us open the valves and use the rainwater system. So that's all of our greenhouse water supply for our seedling greenhouse and it makes a huge difference to the quality and health of our seedlings to be able to use rainwater rather than our saline well water which certain things like tomatoes or even more particularly peppers. These are happy looking peppers because we've had lots of rain and rainwater this spring but peppers are super sensitive to the salinity and it is a disaster when we don't have rainwater for them. So this is a late April. Today's April 27th. This is what our seedling greenhouse looks like in late April. I'll do another video about this overhead uh, washing thing, which we call the flying festoon. I'll do that in a separate video. Voila!